Today I'm going to be showing you how to install stable diffusion locally on your PC. Before we go any further, I just want to say I had COVID at this point of filming this video. I did not know and that probably shows in my enthusiasm levels in this video. So forgive me, I just did not want this video to go to waste. So the guys who created Stable Diffusion, they are called Stability AI. They also created the Dream Studio, which is a beta version at the moment, which works like Dali. You log in and you can create your pumps from there. You do actually have a lot more control than you do have in Dali. And at the moment, the membership is $10 for approximately 1,000 standard generations. So while it's not breaking the bank, if you're like me and you have a couple of subscriptions and you're buying credits on multiple text to image generators, it can get costly. What I'm going to show you now means that you can run Stable Diffusion, the most up-to-date version on your PC locally for free. So this is all legal. Stability AI actively encourage the sharing of their source code. Assuming that you have a Windows operating system and that you've got an NVIDIA card and you've got at least four gigabytes of VRAM, you will also need about 10 gigabytes of storage space on your hard drive as well. I'm gonna be showing you live and I've done a few of these tutorials for you guys and I found this one is the, the simplest one to follow. There are eight steps in total and you need to make an account with with the website huggingface.co. Go and sign in there and make an account and then confirm your email address and with GitHub as well. So the links are below. So hopefully you are making those accounts now as I speak and you can pause this video. If you go down in the description below, I've named all eight steps and they have the link to go to for each step. Also, you'll find this tutorial in a written format on my website, which is promptmuse.com. So the first step is downloading Python. Click the link in the description on number one. And when you get to the page, scroll down to the very bottom and you need to click on Windows Installer 64-bit. This will download that file to your downloads folder. And then once that's done downloading, you need to double click the file in your downloads folder to install the wizard. Ensure that you've got add to path checked. That's vital, otherwise this is not going to work. Okay, on to step two. So step two is downloading Git for Windows. This is called Git Bash. So you go to the link in the step two description below and that's gitforwindows.org and click the lovely download button here. And again, that will download to your downloads folder. So once that's downloaded, you need to run the installer and double click it and it will automatically run the installer for you. Just click next, that's absolutely fine. And once you have finished installing that on the last page, just click launch Git Bash. So that will launch the program for you. Step three, this is going to the huggingface.co link in step three. And hopefully before you pause the video and made your Hugging Face account and you are logged in. And when you go to the link provided, you will see download weights here near to the top of the page. So this is the latest release of Stable Diffusion. So we are on 1.4, but you might be in the future, so you might say 1.5. So just click that and download that. So now we need to navigate over to your local drive. Mine in this example is my C drive. You need to right click and create new folder. Name that folder anything you want. Call it SD for stable diffusion. Just name it absolutely anything you want. Um, AI artwork, whatever. This is where we are going to be copying the repo into where we'll be running stable diffusion. So make it something, you know, fancy and that you will remember <laughs> what it is. We are now on to step number five. So that is going to github.com. So that link will take you to this page and you'll see near to the top this big green button that says code on it. Click this button and you will see a URL. You need to copy that URL and if you're not running Git Bash, like I said previously, to launch it, but just search Git Bash on your PC and you'll find it because that's what we installed a minute ago. <laughs> all you need to now type is all lowercase cd space forward slash and then the drive that you just made that folder in, which mine is C forward slash, and then the name of that folder, whatever you called it. So I called mine SD. And then 
hit enter on the keyboard and now you need to type in git git space clone so git clone and right click and paste and that will paste the link we just got from the github website now you need to hit return on the keyboard once again that's cloned the repository into that folder that you have just made that's where we're going to now run stable diffusion from we return back to the drive where you saved your folder to again mine was c drive and was called SD and you will see a folder in there now so we need to open that up and navigate down to models and then stable hyphen diffusion should be in there now we downloaded that SD hyphen v1 hyphen 4.ckpt file and that should be chilling out in your downloads folder now so go back to your downloads folder you need to right click and then cut and paste into that stable diffusion folder Okay, we're pretty much done all we need to do now is come up to levels in that folder and you will see the uh, batch file reboot user double left click to run that batch file this will now install stable diffusion on your pc Installing all the assets will take a few hours. It's best to leave it running overnight. If you think it's crashed or paused, just hit spacebar on the keyboard and that should get it running again. Do not click anywhere in the box because this will pause and freeze your installation. Once it's finished, it will let you know it's done and you just copy the IP address that you're given and paste it into your internet browser. And there you go, that's stable diffusion on your machine locally.